welcome once again to Langston Talk Show with your host Alberto Castillo and our second guest today. Hello. It's nice to see you again. Yes, it is really nice to see you again as well. Now, can you tell us your name, your age, what school you go to? So my name, my Chinese name is Yao Qi, and my English name is Yasmin, which is also a name of a princess. But actually, um. Why my mother named me Jasmine is really because she likes to drink jasmine tea. Interesting. So, do you like jasmine tea? Um, um, I don't. I haven't even drunk it once because my mother thinks I'm too, I'm too young for that. Mm, I understand. So, did you know that jasmine tea has caffeine in it? Yeah, I do. Is that why she doesn't let you drink it? <laughs> Maybe. Now, Jasmine, what school do you go to? So I go to Wanghulu, and I really like to go to school. Really. Well, that's a first for a student of mine. Why do you like going to school? I think it's because that I like classes. I like to learn new things, and I like to you know learn about Chinese, math, and English. I love all the subjects. You love all the subjects. Can you tell me what's your favorite subject at school? It like. I think it's art because art class because it is really fun and we, like we could do many great things. We could paint and we could draw, and yeah, it's really fun. That's awesome. So, do you draw a lot or do you paint a lot? Well, I don't really do it a lot. I think that's why I re really appreciate it.、Mm, that makes sense. Jasmine, how long have you been studying English here at Langston? I think it's about two or three years. I can't really remember, but still, I think it's just a good experience. It's a good experience. Can you tell us what has made it a good experience for you? Well, actually, I think it has made a good experience because there are many good teachers and、mm -hmm. the classes are really fun. Okay, so who is your favorite teacher? Or I guess my let me say, what would be my real question? What is your favorite class at the moment? Well,、um, I've been to your class only once, so I don't really know how you teach. But, but actually, I really like to go to Donald's class, and so I think it is really fun because you know I can learn things and have fun. Just I like that. What makes you like Donald class a lot? I think I think it is it has. All of English practices. You could speak, and in her, his class, and you could also like listen, do listening, and also do reading and everything like that. That's awesome. And what books have you read at Donald's class that makes you like it? Like,、um, so at first I've、uh, like in the, not in the Ivy League class, just in the normal classes.、Mm -hmm. Literature classes. I've read maybe like Peter Pan,、uh, like、uh, Black Beauty, and those very、uh, those novels, but just a bit easier. A bit easier. Okay. Do you think that studying English here at Langston has helped you out to expand your knowledge with English? Yes, I think so because you know it can help me do many things. I've learned a lot. I now know how to do a speech without a help、mm. of my mother or father's. So that's a really good thing. That's definitely a really good thing. Can you tell me what your regular school, how your English is there? Well, I think it is super easy. It is kind of like you are just learning the basics.、Mm. You aren't. You are just thinking. You are doing things without thinking. Maybe they are now teaching you how to do like,、um, like I'm doing my homework. They're teaching you this. It sounds so easy. So, what, in other words, what's happening is that in your regular school, you're learning just basic English, and you、yeah. already know that. Jasmine, I heard from a little bird out there that you used to live in the United States. Is that correct? Yes,、um, I've been there for one year to just study English and to know to know more about like、uh, to know more about English. And 
when I was there, I couldn't understand. At first, I couldn't understand what they were saying, and I was very confused. Like, I was thinking, what are they saying? It's like I was in another world. Right. And so, how did you improve with that? I think it was most my mother's work because my mother、um, teaches me English every day after class,、mm -hmm. and just like read some of the like read some little books and tell me what the words are, what what they mean. Okay, good. Did you make any friends at school? Yes, I did make. I did have a friend,、mm -hmm. and. And she was really funny and was really kind,、mm. and she teaches and she helps me with English as well. Okay, awesome, Jasmine. Now you're back in China. Have you faced any difficulties learning English or expanding your knowledge in English here at Langston? Yes,、um, but I think if you don't even like you don't think that it was very hard,、mm. I think. It won't be such a good learning experience because、mm. you don't know. You can't improve your English. I think you should improve it. Right. I think so too. So, do you like challenges then? Yes, I do. And after I've done the challenge, I'll feel ex really, really happy. Like because I've achieved something that I've never done before. I think that's awesome. I think that's really, really good. Has any of the teachers here at Langston helped you out with any of the challenges you faced learning English? Yes, they helped me out by like Donald teaches us that from a speech you shouldn't do do have a so a speech paper.、Mm. You just need to make up your own sentences, right? Because you know the thing that you're talking about. That's correct. So exactly, exactly. If you had any suggestions to somebody that wanted to learn English here at Langston, what would it be? I think you should challenge yourself. Like you couldn't make, you couldn't go to class where you can't, you can't understand any anything. That means that you need to go to a lower level. But if you you think that this class is so easy, you can't learn anything. I think you should go to a higher class. You're saying that. You need to challenge yourself in order for you to learn better. Yes, but not challenge yourself too much, or you might not you might not improve and might go down in the opposite way. I get it. When did you feel that you started becoming more natural with English? Like maybe I think it was about when I came back from、uh, from the USA because that time I could speak to. Um, my classmates、mm -hmm. regularly, and so I feel that I am really in that language. And, and when I came back, I feel that、um, I can't understand too much Chinese. But I was、mm. just thinking about English all the time. I could just understand. I could understand them, but sometimes I just, you know, not like not speak too much Chinese. I understand. I definitely understand that. So, do you find yourself thinking in English a lot more than you did before? Yes, I did. And you know, when that time when I came back from China, I made many jokes because I I like kind of like translated English into Chinese, and so the the words and the, you know the meaning of the sentence were 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 like they were different. Like you know, English and Chinese are different. Definitely, completely different sentence structure, the way you speak, and the tenses. Right? Yes, That's what becomes like, more difficult. Yes, like in the like you should say that I did something in the morning, but in Chinese you should say in the morning I did something. Right. So was it hard to get back into custom with English and Chinese when you came back? Oh、uh, yes, it was. At, like, and I might say. I was, I was doing something in the morning, but just using the English structure.、Mm, so that was difficult, right? Yeah, a bit difficult. I can imagine. How would you describe the environment here at Langston? Actually, I think it was pretty good, and I think you could do many things—not only learn, but to have, just have fun. Right. Now, would you recommend it to anybody that's wanting to learn English? Yes, 
I do because you know it has a great like you know you could learn English and also like you can learn English and have fun and you don't feel that much like that much really really unhappy to come to this class mm, so you're saying that it's a good environment for you to learn and you feel happy coming in yes awesome Jasmine I know that we've been talking a lot about your English skills have you used it anywhere else outside of the USA or outside of the classroom environment Yes, I usually speak English with my mother and father to, to just practice. Sometimes when I want to, a bottle being like maybe a bottle like water and I will just ask my mother. So you just speak English at home as well? But not always, it's sometimes just for fun. I definitely understand that. So that's really good that you keep on practicing your English. All right. So I know that I've asked you a lot of serious questions, Jasmine, but we're going to get into the fun stuff. Is that okay with you? Jasmine, tell me, what is your favorite hobby? Well, I like to go um, swimming and also reading storybooks mm -hmm. and actually, or maybe novels, mm. but it's actually mostly English books. Mostly English books. So you told me you like swimming and reading English books. What's your favorite English book? It is the land of stories, which is really fun, and it has a lot of fairy tales in it. Tell me why you like that book. Because, you know, it has a lot of magical things. It happens really, really, you know, really, really suddenly, mm. but it just feels so great. And you could just explore and do the adventures with main characters. Mm, that's awesome. So I guess my other question is, if you had an opportunity to go anywhere around the world or anywhere, where would you want to go and why? Well, if it is an imaginative world, mm -hmm. I will of course go to a fairy tale world. And I might add some more characters, like me and maybe others, like maybe the Chinese, Chinese character, you know. Mm. How would you describe that environment or that world? I would describe it as, so, in villains, there is villains, but there are also good people. And the good, when the good people unite, they will always beat the bad. So good versus bad. Yes. And also, I think you, your, like, your, you know, your expression and your love will always keep the bads away. So love always prevails. Yes. That is awesome, Jasmine. And how would you make yourself as the character in the fairy tale? I think if I was in that fairy tale world, then I think I might want to be a fairy. Ah, a small fairy or a big fairy? I think a big fairy. A big fairy? Okay. Yeah, so it will make me like feel as though I could do magic and like make things happen without really really doing it. It's just may just wave my hands or wave a wand. What kind of wand would you like to wave? What a color crystal would wand. a crystal wand? That's pretty. What kind of crystal? Would it be a pink crystal or a white crystal? Blue crystal. A blue crystal. Why blue? Because my favorite color is blue and it makes me think of of ice and I really like ice. It's not a really warm thing, but it's still it's there, I think it is a very f good and yeah, just for me. It's good and it's also beautiful. I, like blue is actually a really beautiful color as well. So I completely agree with you on that. Now, Jasmine, I know I've asked you a lot of questions. Do you have any questions for me? Yes. <laughs> um, so if you, if you want to have, go into a world that you could make up yourself and you know, just to use magic to make up a world, what will you make? Honestly, that's a very hard question. So there's two worlds I will make, right? The first world would be the world of Spider-Man because I've always loved Spider-Man. I've always liked Peter Parker and Miles Morales. So those are the two main Spider-Mans. And I think what's really cool mm -hmm. now is that we also have Gwen Stacy as girl Spider-Man as well. So I think just... The reason why I would choose that type of environment or that world is because everybody can relate. Whoever you are, you're a little kid, you're an adult, whatever you're going through, right? Everybody can relate to the character of Spider-Man. Being an average person, just trying to do good in the world, right? 
Obviously, we face problems, we face trials and tribulations, but at the end of the day, we try to be good. So I think that would be one, and I would obviously be Spider-Man, right? So I would love to be Spider-Man, so that's one. The second world that I would love to be in, or I would love to make, would be the Harry Potter world, the wizardly world. Just because I've always wanted to learn magic, and I think I've grown with Harry Potter since I was like 10 years old, I think, 10 or 11 years old. I started watching the Harry Potter movie, so that's what actually got me into it. And during third grade, I also started reading the, the book, The Sorcerer's Stone. So um, my third grade teacher would always read the book with us. And that's what got me into this magical feeling like, oh, dude, this is so cool. And to be truthful, I know everybody wants to be Harry Potter. But I, personally, would love to be Dumbledore. Or somebody like Dumbledore. Or Professor Snape. Because I think those are the two coolest professors in the school. But... For me, I want to be Hermione Granger. Why Hermione? Well, because, you know, Hermione Granger is so intelligent and he fa she faces problems, right. right? And sometimes she makes up with them. So I think she's a good character. Uh, like, I sometimes have troubles with my friends, but right. I make up with them. Mm -hmm. So, and yeah, really, it's just like that. Anyways, it's actually a good thing for you that you like Hogwarts because I've read once that there will become a, a place not to just wave your wand or do magic, but it's just a place where that you could enjoy magic in real life, in our world. Right. So, what kind of skills would you learn then if it's not magic? So, you can learn about kind of like science. Hmm. Science things because you know, ma you from us magic is like like something like you know you can't stand upside down on a wall. Right. I hope not. Because you will be be stuck. You will be sucked downward. Like in the universe, there will be black holes. Hmm. Really. So I think maybe they will teach you about these things. So the magic of science. Yes. That's awesome. Jasmine, do you have any other questions for me? Yes, yeah, so what are those rings for? Ooh, these are, okay. So what she's talking about are these rings are on my fingers, right? So each ring represents a memory of mine. So, or uh, an event that happened in my life and I keep it, right? So these are like, I guess what you would call memories that I remind myself whenever I'm having a bad day. So this ring, I got it in Mexico near the pyramids of Mexico. I went a year after my grandma died, but during that, after that year, all of our family hung out together. And there was a, a lot of us that went to the pyramids, so that's why I hold it together with, in my finger, right? Um, and it's meaningful because I didn't know what it meant. When I got it, it was really, really big on my finger. I was, I think, 13 years old and it didn't fit on my finger, and it still doesn't fit on my finger. But I put it on because it reminds me that this is my love for my family right this one i got it at my first music festival i didn't realize how much i loved music until i went to a music festival and i just saw it was three days of just pure music and dancing just singing along with the artists and so this i got at my music festival and it reminds me that no matter wherever you are if you're feeling sad listen to music because it can always make you feel better right M music yeah. is a universal language yes i like music as well right but it doesn't matter what language you speak if you listen to music, it makes you feel happy, right? Yeah, like if you listen to a, a Chinese song, you will also feel happy because the beat of the sound is really, really exciting. Exactly. This one, I got it after China started opening up to be able to travel again after the COVID um, lockdowns. So this is my first trip where I went into, well, I was still in China, but I went into Hong Kong. Right, so and I got this uh, at the Tower of Hong Kong that night when I was feeling a little bit sad. I was feeling a little bit homesick because I hadn't visited my mom yet. But I ended up seeing the sky view of all of Hong Kong. And this is a reminder that no matter where you are, there's always beauty where you find it, right? So reminder, there's always beauty anywhere you go. And this one is when I got it recently this year. I actually got it like two months ago when I went on a trip where I actually saw my mom. So we went to Egypt, and this is a, a ring of Egypt. Uh, and it reminds me that no matter where you are, you always have the love of your mom. So this is a reminder that that was my mom's love. 
because we ended up going on a world trip together and it was just like, well, you know, always reminds me of my mom, right? I also carry, sorry, I also carry these two, which is also reminders as well. Like this is my trip where I went to Guilin and this is my trip when I went to um, Warsaw and this crystal is called Rose Quartz and it's supposed to represent love as well. Well, this is such a beautiful one. Right, I know, thank you. Um, and this I got at a church with my mom and this is the tree of life, right? So uh, the, the tree yeah. is always growing, always expanding. Yes, as it is above, as so is below, right? So it's always growing up and down, so you know? And the last one, my mom gave this to me for my travels to always stay safe. So this is like a good luck charm for me as well. So she's like, this is going to protect you wherever you go. So I always carry it. No matter where I go, every single day, I put this on. So, yeah. Even in your sleep? Yes, even in my sleep. Only I only take it off when I take showers because uh. it gets wet. But even in my sleep, I keep it on, you know, as a reminder for to protect wherever I'm at. Right? Because you always have that love for your mom. Your mom's never going to... No matter where your mom goes, you're, the love from your mom's always going to be there, right? Yeah. So, yeah. That's a very good question, Jasmine. Nobody has ever asked me that, so I appreciate that. Any other questions you have for me? So, I think it's not a question. Uh-oh. What are you going to say? No, it's just about me. Okay, go for it. Yeah. So, I think there are rules for being a kid. Please tell me what the rules for being a kid are. So first, when you're at your, you when you're a car, mm -hmm. and and so like when you're in a car and someone is driving, even if I know I'm not in the where they want in the in the place where they want to drive me to, I will always ask, "Are we there yet?" Every five minutes. No, you are that kid. <laughs> why, Jasmine? Why? <laughs> Adults, oh no, adults die when you say that or you ask that, oh no. So what do you think, so now that we're talking about rules for kids, what do you think is a rule for an adult? I think just uh, for adults, I mm -hmm. think maybe just to be kind to, your, to, to everyone and also to yourself. So that way you could make more friends and most more people will be friendly to you. And and anyways, just have a suggestion not to boss your boss around. Not to boss. Well, yeah, no, do definitely do not boss your boss around because your boss will fire you if you, you try to boss yes. him around. Yeah, and I think, and <laughs> when you vote to, for your boss, you might also vote a great, you could vote more about for the one who's, who you, will become the boss because, you know, it is for your own good sake. Fair. But just make sure you know who is paying you before you vote for your bosses because yeah. then that might be troublesome, Jasmine. Yeah. So just be aware. Who is paying me and then you vote, yeah? Yeah. Just, just a warning. warning. Anything else you would like to suggest to us by any chance, Jasmine? No. No? No. Oh, can I give you one suggestion? Okay. Always be kind to yourself, you know? I know sometimes <laughs> life can be hard or I know sometimes school is hard. Relationships are hard. For example, friendships, right? You sometimes have problems. Just remind yourself that you're human. Everybody makes mistakes. Fix them, and that's it. And just be kind, because that's what we need at the end of the day. Yes. Yeah? All right, Jasmine, anything else? Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining us at today's talk show. It was a pleasure. It was a pleasure having you, Jasmine. I appreciate you joining us today. And we'll see you next time at Langston's English Talk Show. Goodbye. <laughs>